Hello Lakes Elementary, my name is Miss Maeve and I'm a youth librarian at Cromaine District Library. I want to wish you a very happy March is Reading Month. I would love to share some books with you that I think you might enjoy reading. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start with some adventure books. This first book is The Book Wanderers, which is the first book in the Pages and Company series by Anna James. 11-year-old Tilly has lived above her grandparents' bookshop ever since her mother disappeared shortly after she was born. Like the rest of her family, Tilly loves nothing more than to escape into the pages of her favorite stories. One day, Tilly realizes that the classic children's characters are appearing in the shop through the magic of book wandering. They are crossing over from the pages into real life. With the help of Anne of Green Gables and Alice in Wonderland, Tilly is determined to solve the mystery of what happened to her mother all those years ago. The second adventure book I recommend is A Whale of the Wild by Roseanne Perry. This story is about a young orca whale who must lead her brother on a tumultuous journey to be reunited with their pod. The third adventure book I recommend is a part of the Fantastic Frame series, Danger, Tiger Crossing by Lynn Oliver. When 10-year-old Tiger Brooks and his family move into a new home, he sees some strange things at the house next door, like a talking pig in a top hat. He and his neighbor, Luna Lopez, investigate, and they discover a reclusive old woman and her magical golden frame, through which they can enter the world's greatest paintings. Tiger and Luna get pulled into a painting and must escape their jungle adventure before time runs out, or they'll be trapped in the painting forever. Now this next book is a little bit adventure and a little bit fantasy. It's called Max and the Midnights by Lincoln Pierce. Max wants very badly to be a knight. When Max's uncle Budrick is kidnapped by the cruel King Ghastly, Max has to act and fast. He sets out on a thrilling quest with a band of brave adventurers to save Uncle Budrick and restore the realm of Bijovia to its former high spirits. Now let's move on to some fantasy stories. This first story, Dragons in a Bag by Zeta Elliott, stars Jackson. When he is sent to spend the day with a mean old lady his mother calls Ma, he finds out that she's not his grandmother, but that she is a witch. She needs his help delivering baby dragons to a magical world where they'll be safe. Will Jax get the baby dragons delivered safe and sound, or will they be lost in Brooklyn forever? The second fantasy story I recommend is in the Unicorn Rescue Society series by Adam Gidwitz. The first story in this series is The Creatures of the Pine. Elliot Eisner isn't exactly thrilled with the first day at his new school. His class is going on a field trip to a creepy forest called the Pine Barrens. Together with his professor Fauna and a new friend Yukena, Elliot must help rescue a Jersey Devil from a duo of conniving, greedy billionaires. If you like graphic novels, I have a few to suggest. The first is Click by Kayla Miller. Olive clicks with everyone in the fifth grade until one day she doesn't. When a school variety show leaves Olive stranded without an act to join, she begins to panic, wondering why all her friends have already formed their own groups without her. With the performance drawing closer by the minute, will Olive be able to find her own place in the show before the curtain comes up? I also suggest Cardboard Kingdom by Chad Sell. A neighborhood of kids transform ordinary boxes into colorful costumes and their ordinary block into a cardboard kingdom. Throughout the summer, 16 kids encounter knights and rogues, robots and monsters on one last quest before school starts again. Lastly, I have a series of nonfiction books to recommend. The Who series has a bunch of stories about people, events, and places throughout history. Chances are, if there is something or someone that you want to learn about, it will be in this series. I hope some of these books sounded like something that you would like to read. These books are available at our library, so if you'd like to stop by at some point to check them out, we'd love to see you. Any of our youth services librarians would be happy to help you find these books or the perfect book for you. You can visit us in person, call us over the phone, or email us at youthandteen at Enjoy March's Reading Month, and happy reading. Bye.